Okay, we're gonna mount up our ECM now. Right up here. Pretty straightforward. Now we'll see to this. Bolts directly to that cooling plate though. Essentially five bolts here. I'll have to lay the harness out, see how it lays to hopefully get the studs and whatnot in the right spot. Okay, here's our plug-in for our control box. It's got a screw in the middle. There's an Allen wrench. I'm gonna gently put that in. It only goes in one way, so you can't screw it up. Okay. okay. Here's our throttle. That would be these two connectors. Somebody broke the ears off that one. Should clip together like that. This is our starter relay, so that's going to go right here. Um, these modules like this are uh, not quite as easy as some of the if it was in a vehicle, because the harness is a lot longer than it needs to be. Um, this is a power cable for the uh, starter, once we get to that. And here's our engine harness. Here's our engine harness. Our sensor harness, it's got the same thing. It's got an Allen screw in the middle of it. Only goes in one way. And this one is going to plug in here for the fuel rail pressure. Got another one here. That's going to have to be bolted down, and I believe it comes up here like this. So I'm going to plug in there. And then we have some more stuff here. This is going to go up and over. We've got a plug here, see if that matches anything I'm seeing. Oh, that one looks right. There's one. I'll have to reroute this and get them held down where they should be. I'll try to figure out where they ought to go. This one goes up over the front. I believe. Yeah, the turbocharger and all that fun stuff. Let's see if I got the same plug there. Yeah, so this will have to be routed around the front of the engine. And then this stuff kind of lays pretty self-explanatorily. Um, you can see all they're all different plugs. You basically just plug them in and that's that. This plug right here looks just like the injector plug. You don't want to mix those up. I've made that mistake once. Took me a while to figure out what the heck happened. All this stuff will lay just so. Under all this stuff. This one has a little trap door that slides shut once you get it on. That's going to be our oil pressure. There's a hole down right here. Once you start getting all these in it, it starts making more sense. Just getting routing can be kind of tricky sometimes. Okay, this one plugs in here. Let's see. Oh, we gotta bolt this guy on yet too. 
This is our turbocharger actuator. It would help if we had that in place. Here, there's a little clip on them. Now well, that one's broke. This was that one, but some of these have a clip on them once they get on there to close. This one goes here. Looks like this one goes there. This one goes there. And then this one goes there. So you can kind of see they all kind of fall into place once you get them in the right spot. Another one here. This one is our Jake brake connections. Would have been easier to get on earlier. Very little screwdriver around with you makes all the difference in the world getting to some of this. See, it's just a clip on. Okay, I routed this right and put it up on rubber dip clamps where it should be. Here's a crank position sensor that needs to be hooked up. Here's a ground. This is a coolant level that we're not using here. Um, and then we've got to route this correctly. So it's going to come up through here somehow. Go around the other side. There's some coolant sensors and different things. Turbo, that type of thing. Uh, that one goes somewhere right here. Back here is a crank position sensor. It's kind of a son of a gun to get to. I can see once you get these harnesses in here and routed just right, it works pretty good. It's just a matter of figuring out how they go. Too good about this one. Okay, there's a little clip on that one. So, so a hold down clamp that. Yeah, that's going to ride right around here. There's a hole down there. One here. One here. This is going to come back just this way. There's another hole down right here. There's also a coolant temp right here. There's there. There's a hole down here. It has to be tightened up once we get it all plugged in. Here's my turbo speed sensor. And here's my inlet air temperature. Okay, the harness is installed.